Welcome back to Friday Night Lights. And, Mike, you just never know what you're going to get from week to week in Region 7. That's absolutely true. Let's get out to Oil City where they're taking on the Warren Dragons in Region Play. Let's get to the highlights here as we head to the oil field. They are 5-0 and to start the season and taking on the Dragons. And let's get to the action here. Oilers on the move in the first. Noah Petro with a nice first down pickup, dragging defenders with him. Sticking with the drive. Oil City inside the Warren 20. And it is Holden Stahl hitting JT Stahl Man for the touchdown. 7 0 OC. Now How about for, that connection? Yeah, for <laughs> Oilers safety. Petro taking the toss. And he'll go for another touchdown of nine yards. Makes it, makes it 16 0 Oil City over Warren. 53 0. Oilers remain perfect at 6 and 0. Oh. Down at Conyot area, Sharon visiting the Eagles in Region 5 action at Lyonsville. 32-16 lead for the Tigers in the third. Give it to Tywell Richardson. And in six for... Six is in for six. Touchdown scamper there, 39-12. Sharon, another nice run coming up for Brady Ortiz. Sharon would go on to win this one. Overcash, 43-24. to 24. How about Sagertown visiting Concord in second half? Cardinals leading 16-12, to 12, looking for more here. It's wide Barzak hitting Kedrick Hostetler, showing off the open field skills here on the way to a touchdown. And Cockerton would go on for the big win here against Sagertown, your final 46 to 24. More scores in District 10 on the Lewis Fitness and Performance scoreboard. Slippery Rock over Titusville, 42 13. Sharps over Lakeview, 27 to 9. More scores for you. Hickory over Grove City, 21 19. Wilmington beats Greenville, 45 0. And finally, a couple more here. As Reynolds beats West Middlesex 28 14, Farrell over Mercer 73 to nothing, the final there. In the OHL, the Otters are in the middle of the first stretch of three games and three nights as they were starting on the road yet again. Last night, they lost to Windsor 2 to 1, and they were back at it tonight in London. Always uh, fun when they go up against the London Knights. They hated <laughs> London Knights. Let's get at the Lewis Fitness right. Performance scoreboard. A 6 2 loss. Jack Duff, Chad Yetman, the goals. 31 saves for Dan Murphy. They're home tomorrow against Windsor at the Erie Insurance. Here we have. And, of course, two friends who met in a serendipitous way nearly 30 years ago certainly know how to show their pride for the Pittsburgh Steelers. With their original mural fading away in Edinburgh, the two friends have reunited to bring it back with a fresh new look. However, this new project has deeper meaning. Mike Gallagher with the story. Getting his story, buddy. George Humes and Dana Volkman share a very special friendship. A friendship built over 26 years and a love of art, community, and their favorite team, the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm just a retired art teacher and artist who is making some public art to showcase our friendship and our love for the Steelers. A broken down truck led Humes to the garage on Route 6 in Edinburgh, Pennsylvania, owned by Volkman. It was there that Humes noticed Volkman passion for the Steelers. Humes was a high school art teacher, Volkman a mechanic, and a bond was formed when it was decided a mural would be painted on the building as a sign of gratitude for keeping the truck on the road. The theme for the mural? This here's a picture of the last mural that was on here that were replaced. It was called the Steel Age because it showcased the four Super Bowl wins of the 70s teams. It has been my claim to fame in this town. That was then, this is now. 20 years after the original mural was painted, it had fallen into disrepair along with the building from a fire. And Volkman himself had fallen on hard times as a result of the fire and a cancer diagnosis that left him unable to work. In 2013, I developed cancer. I had to have my bladder removed and a few other inside pieces. <laughs> That's when Hume stepped in, and it was decided a new mural was needed to help his friend get back on his feet and give residents and visitors entering the town a super entrance. We talked about the plays and the players before we, you know, decided what to put on. So I think we got a pretty good, you know, collection of some of those stars from those teams. All the old timers are mad because we didn't replace that mural with another Steel Age kind of era no, we're mural. Not, we're not going to stop here. We're planning on We'd eventually like going the around building. the building. But the times we've had uh, watching and traveling and going to watch our beloved team is priceless. Some of the best times of my life. My life is richer from having that experience with him. Thanks, Mike. The Steelers host the Cincinnati Bengals Monday night at Heinz Field for Pittsburgh's first divisional game. Meanwhile, New England visits Buffalo Sunday at 1 o'clock, and the Browns go on the road and take on the Baltimore Ravens Sunday at 1 p.m. How about 12th-ranked Penn State picking up a win? 
They move to 4-0, beating Maryland 59-0. Meadville grad Journey Brown accounting for two touchdowns, one being a 37-yard receiving score in the win. And taking a look on the scoreboard in Major League Baseball, it's officially over for the Cleveland Indians and their playoff push as they lose to the Washington Nationals this evening. Your final score, 8-2.